The John Parnham Estate Collection here at the National Motorcycle Museum contains some truly unique two-wheeled finds. A large group is a particularly interesting group of early Harley Davidsons. Providing backstory and context for this incredible display, I'm being joined by Paul Dort Leon, floor reporter from Ecom Auctions on Motor Trend TV. Paul, we are in front of arguably one of the most valuable bikes. What are some of the details on this? Well, what's remarkable about this, this is a 1913 Harley Davidson Model 9E. It's a very early V twin and it's an original paint. You know, for decades, if a collector found a motorcycle in this condition, they would take it apart and restore it because it wasn't shiny. Nowadays, let's say in the past 20 years, people really understand that a motorcycle is only original once, it only bears its factory paint once, and thus original paint early motorcycles have become incredibly valuable. And here we have a 1915 Harley Davidson B-Twin. It's a J model, it's got the three-speed gearbox, and it has an original factory sidecar. The motorcycle itself looks to be original paint. The sidecar has been repainted with a kind of sympathetic patina. That's fine. And it's a wonderfully correct and original motorcycle in an olive drab green. Well, why? The United States was not at war in 1915, but the board of directors at Harley-Davidson knew we would be shortly at war. And so they switched the entirety of their production from gray to green and thus it became for another 10 years until they started to offer other colors like Brewster Green and then a myriad of colors by the 1930s. So here we have a pair of Harley Davidsons that kind of show the evolution of Harley Davidson engines and design and this 1911 Harley Davidson single, it's a Model 7A, is an example of what Harley built from the very beginning. It's almost identical to the Harley, David, Harley and Davidsons first prototype from 1903 and all of them were single cylinder and single speed without a clutch. The first ones were belt drive just like this motorcycle and then what they evolved into were the V-twins. You could still buy a single in this era but of course the V-twins became much more popular. This is a 1919 example of the 61 cubic inch F-head V-twin and it's a different shade of green. The single cylinder bike is the original gray that all Harley Davidson's were until about 1915, but in 1919 they offered an option, Brewster Green, which is a very rare option. What you've just seen is a small part of the unique consignments contained in this one-of-a-kind collection. To find out more about the auction, head over to Meekum.com.